Hello, it's JJ Lee from the shuttergoesclick.blogspot.com. I've already posted a video of my modified Instax Wide 300 camera. It works pretty well. To find the video and a detailed post, you can go to my blog. But here are the basics of the mod. I wanted a camera to have no flash, no retractable barrel, and no metering. All I wanted the body to do is develop exposed Instax Wide film. The aperture, the shutter speed, the shutter release are all controlled from a front-focusing Schneider Kreuznach 105mm f4.5 lens from a 60-year-old 6x9 camera, my beloved Balda Baldelux. And what I want to do today is I'm going to show you all the parts that went into attaching the lens to the camera, which is the hardest part of the camera modification. So here's the beautiful lens, it's mounted on a homemade lens board that fits inside a 60mm to 52mm step-down ring. Then next is a filter ring with the filter removed. All of it is mounted backwards because the whole thing attaches to lens hood, which sleeves over the original Fuji Instax Wide 300 lens barrel. But here's the part I really want you to see. The filter ring goes inside the step-down ring. The step-down ring holds the homemade lens board, and the lens board is roughly cut, but it works and it keeps out the light. The lens board is held in by a lens retaining ring from an old zoom lens, and as I mentioned, the 52 millimeter filter retaining ring in the back. And all of it sits on backwards to the lens hood. And the lens hood socks over the original lens barrel from the camera. And all of it is intended to hold the lens to just a very simple 52 millimeter Hoya lens hood. I don't even know where I got it from. I just found it in my closet and it worked perfectly well. But attaching a lens to a lens hood is only half the solution. What you really have to do is get it attached to the camera. So there's the original lens barrel you can see. Uh, I've taped it up because it wasn't quite light type so there's a little bit of tape to add to the girth of the original lens barrel but right now I'm unscrewing it uh, from the body and I'll be able to pull it out and show it to you. It's a really simple trick. It's only two screws. There should be four but uh, I've had enough of trying to get it all in so uh, I'm taping a bit. It's a bit stuck but you should be able to remove the entire original lens barrel uh, this lens barrel no longer sits in the track that was used to retract the lens barrel in and out from the original camera. I've cut that all out. All I use it for is basically a flange tube uh, over which the lens hood could sock over. And that's it. Of course, the big part of the project is to get this wonderful front element focusing lens over the body. So I'm going to give you a little breakdown now piece by piece, just little pictures so you can see all the parts. And you can decide if you want to build your mod this way. No guarantees, obviously. So once again, in pictures, you need your homemade lens board. I know it's roughly cut, but it actually works. Then you need a 60 millimeter down to 52 millimeter filter adapter. It's actually quite important. The 60 mil is important because it allows me to operate the shutter levers and the aperture levers without having the rim in the way. Then you need a 52 millimeter filter uh, with the filter glass removed and that acts as a spacer to get the lens the right distance from the film plane and you can use any number that you need. And there's the retaining ring that holds the lens board in from the front. And of course, all of this attaches to the lens hood backwards. So where you see the chrome thread, of course, is where we would uh, put the lens assembly. So here I am putting it all back together. It's actually quite fun uh, to throw it all together once you get, the, you get into the habit. But it's to show you that it's modular and all the parts fit together and you can use any combination as you need to suit the lens and its distance from the film plane. And that's what makes it so fun and I suppose uh, it's just kind of neat to see a camera get assembled that actually works. Again, I, I ripped off the tape earlier, so now I'm putting it back on. Uh, and there's the lens hood sleeving over. And it's done. That's shootable camera. You can walk out on the street and take shots. Uh, there are lots of ways to go about it. 
this was my fourth or fifth iteration of the project. But I hope this was helpful for you. Check out my blog. Enjoy the day and have fun shooting. Thank you.